what's up guys yeah welcome back again to another lovely update uh it's been a while i've not been able to uh, do a video for some time and because i have to do one or two you know i've not been feeling too good so now on this uh on the viral trend uh concerning the popular singer a uh, boner boy and uh, and also a nigeria singer speed Dalitin. you know there has been a report that uh, speed Dalitin was arrested and uh after some time, uh, it was later made to know that uh, the arrest on speedality was orchestrated by Bonner Boy. And uh, there is uh, so many series of interactions I've, I've, you know, I'll follow up uh, on this uh, trended update. And so many people uh, were in support of what uh, Bonner Boy did and some were against what Bonner Boy did. So uh, the more reason why we have to talk about uh, this trend is because... Uh, you know, we all know that, uh, according to some people, they say that uh, it's, it's an act of oppression, you know, for Bonner Boy to arrest a speed Dalitin. This is an act of, of, of oppression. So what do you think, guys? Do you think it's an, it's an act of oppression for Bonner Boy to make that move of arresting speed Dalitin? Where I, I don't know how you, you guys watch me right now. I don't know what is what your thought is really on this matter. But what I think is, I think uh, Bonner Boy did the right thing. Yeah, Ron Bonaboy did the right thing because, uh, you know, uh, we all know speedality. We we are we are not new to speedality. Speedality is is a, is is a, is a celebrity that is fond of always, uh, you know, talking things anyhow he likes. So he has been fond of talking anyhow. So so he says some stuff that uh, really uh, pissed off uh, Bonaboy. So he, so Bonaboy had to do the needful. So I don't see anything anything wrong in what Bonaboy did. You know, speedality, speedality uh, go what it deserves for talking anyhow, you know. You know, I know that we have freedom of speech in this country, but you are, we have to be careful, we have to be mindful of the kind of things we say. You know, most especially as celebrities, we have to be very careful the kind of things we say. You know, because uh, you can remember the trended video of when the speedality talked about, uh, you know, uh, Bonner Boy having something to do with uh, 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 Didi. You know, Didi that is uh, having a, 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 an ongoing case. You know, in the U.S., so so it's just something that uh, we have to be very careful of. My how we talk, especially our celebrities, many kind of things we say online. You understand? So let me just put that one aside now. And there's this trending video of uh, the popular uh, clergyman, uh, uh, Pastor Jerry Eze, you know, uh, you know, coming down from a a, a very a very expensive uh, ride. So, uh, so many people have been talking so many things concerning this video and, uh, you know, they were saying, so many people are saying stuff. So, so many people even went as far as saying that the man is not a genuine man of God. Pastor Jerry is a, is a human being like you. So, the same way every, every human being drives car, the same way every human being have a house, that is how every pastor are there, you know, so, that's how they are supposed to live. So the fact that they are pastors doesn't mean that they don't deserve to, you know, to drive a Range Rover or they don't deserve to drive a Lexus so or one kind of expensive uh, car like that, you understand? So I don't see any, any big deal here. So many people are already kicking against uh, this art. You know, I can remember uh, previously I invited some people that were not expected, you know, in his birthday, you know, being a pastor. I know that as a pastor, you are supposed to associate yourself with some kind of people, you know, Pastors are always selective, I know, but pastors are of different types. You understand? If I start, if I start to be talking about different type of pastor now, and this video will be very lengthy, so so we just have to let it leave it like that. You know, leave the guy, leave the leave the guy to to do his thing, leave him to live his life. The father is a pastor, don't mean that he should not leave it. He should not, you know, drive an expensive car, live in a better, live live in a better house or something like stuff like that. So, so many people are just against him, saying some say he's not a genuine pastor, that he's a, he's a celebrity pastor, this, this, that, that, that. You know, it's just something that we're not supposed to be talking about. So, now, now lastly, on this update, I'll be talking about uh, this uh, popular celebrity uh, with the name as uh, Nkechi Blessing. As uh, you can see on your screen, uh, it's uh, Nkechi Blessing, you know, showing off online uh, iPhone 16 Pro, you know. You know, uh, he, he even show uh, he will show all the other iPhones she used, iPhone 13, 14, 15, and down down to the recent one system. 
you know what she's trying to say that that she does not do swapping so she she go for brand new phones she does not do swapping you know i and uh, this goes to show how how worthy she is it's good to show how how big she is when it comes to you know using money to to command things you understand but what kind of achievement is this so what do you think is it is this is this really, really an achievement you know because uh, even people even the uh, people that are, are more richer than her they do swap phones they do discard their old phones and go for a new one and they they are they are not always used to keeping their old phones so you understand so why will uh okay she let's see you know do stuff like this is this just is it is, is this whole thing just for f f to trend or just for content because i don't see any big deal why not dash out those those other iphones iphone 13 40 15 that you still have she see she still have have with her why not dash it out? Why not why not why not dash me one of those phones from the 13 to 15? Why not dash me one? Or dash any other person? So what is the need for in what's the need of uh, uh, you know carrying you know how many phones around 13, 14, 15, and 16? Four phones at a time. You know, it, it will even be it, it will be a, a stress for her to be carrying four phones up and down. So I don't see really see I don't really see this thing as a big deal. I don't see this as an as an achievement for anybody, you know, to be using four phones. You understand? And it's not it's not as if she is a full time content creator because I know that content creator these to have a lot of phones because they they purpose each phones for different different things. But she's not a full time content creator. So why was the need of having? And it's it's not as maybe is maybe one Android one iPhone or stuff like that. All iPhones. Well, I don't see any big deal, but I don't know what you think. Do you think this is a very good achievement for someone to be buying new phone, brand new new phone, without discarding the old ones? I don't know what you think, guys. So you all have a thought on this matter, guys. So that will be all on this quick update. So I'll see you guys on the next update.